19 minutes into the first half and Australia led 3-0 against the Pacific Nations rugby champs. But the Fijians were quick to rebound with Nemani Nandolo kicking a penalty goal after Australia was penalised. As Nandolo gets the reply and scores a level at Millennium Stadium. Four minutes after, Australia's flanker, who turned into a number eight overnight, David Pocock, would later score two back-to-back -back tries for the Wallabies. Pocock has it at the back. Again, some offside play. There it is for Pocock. He got it down. Australia led at half-time 18-3. Two minutes into the second half saw a brilliant break by Israel Folau and Genia set up an easy Simmons. try for Kepu. Rob Simmons looking ominous, just 10 metres out. Kepu! Sakopi Kepu! He smashed his way through. Ben Volavola hit back scoring Fiji's only try on the 59th minute, leaving the Aussies to now play defensive rugby. Ben Volavola! Scores Fiji's first try. The Fijians' attack placed the Aussies under enormous pressure, making it difficult to score their fourth try for a bonus point, which could prove decisive in the finals. I thought it was a really good game, you know. Um, it was a really good workout for us. It was physical. We covered a lot of metres. Uh, I think you could see it at a certain stage during the second half was our first game for a while, so guys were blowing a bit, but exactly what we needed. Well, I was really pleased with some of the things in the performance. Fiji's captain said despite falling short against Australia, the team will focus on the positives for their next game against Wales in eight days. It's up to uh, Australia for giving us a tough go. But uh, at the end of the day, they come, uh, they come out victorious. And uh, it's tough up to, for the boys. We've got another game next the following week and we're looking forward to that. Lorraine Genia, National MTV Sports.